you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures to No survivors when I see them. Oh. For three days, all you've done is sleep. But I knew it. By God's grace, we have never lost any patient in this hospital. And we will never, never do. What happened? Where am I? There was an accident. But everything is alright now. Eh? You will be okay, eh? Just relax. Relax a bit. Oh. You'll be alright, huh? You are okay now, eh? Oh, water. No water? Yeah. Okay. Let me get one of the nurses to attend to you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll be back to see you. You are too strong for death. Good morning, Ma. Morning. How are you doing? I'm very much better. I can see you are feeling better. Yes, Ma. Yes, Ma. Thank you. I brought some food for you. Uh -uh. <laughs> Ma, you're very kind, though. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it is God that has been kind to us all. I'm very hungry. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> this is nice. Thank you, Ma. Have you been able to call your parents? Uh, yes, ma, I called them. But um, I didn't tell them about the accident because, you see, my father is hypertensive and my mother, I don't want her to start panicking because she will rush down here immediately. I don't want her to see me in this condition. But you still need somebody to take care of you until you're able to stand on your feet. I'll manage, I'll manage, ma. My dear, you can't manage. Even when you are discharged from here, you need somebody to care for you. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'll, I'll manage you. Hmm. In that case, maybe I should take you to my house so I can really look after you. Your house? Yeah. <sighs> Ma, what about your family? Don't worry about that. I'm, I'm a widow. And I have enough accommodation. There's one empty room in my house. You can manage that for me. Sorry about that, ma. No, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, ma. I appreciate it. Ma. It's okay. Take good care of you, ma. Thank you, ma. If you need anything, just call me. Thank you, ma. Sorry, ma. Can you tell them to get me coke? Okay. I'll need to see the doctor to confirm if you can take that now. Gamji. I want to start Oh. Hey. Hello. Hello. Thank you. This is my daughter, Kemuchi. Both of us live here alone. Remember I told you I have one small family? Yes, Ma, but you were not very detailed about it. How do you mean? You didn't tell me you had such a pretty, sweet-looking, beautiful oh, daughter. Oh, yes. My daughter is the most beautiful girl in the whole world. Mm, look at this woman. You don't mind my boastful mother. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Donald. I'm Kim. I'm Kim Buchi. Nice to meet you. So, take him to the guest room I prepared this morning before going to work. I'll find him something to eat. Uh, food? No, I'm, I'm okay, ma. You remember I ate at the hospital, so I'm fine. Uh, I'm not hungry, ma. Thank you. Nonsense. You must eat in my household. Hmm? We are just one small happy family. Hmm? 
you must eat. <laughs> okay, ma. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Make him comfortable. That's fine. Okay. See you, ma. It's okay. I hope you've prepared something nice. Though. Not too much pepper, not too much salt, not too much oil. Uh, Mama, what are you doing? I'm not trying to give the impression I can't cook. <laughs> Let's go. Just make him comfortable, eh? Mama. Mommy. What was this now? What is it? I'm talking about the stranger you've brought into our home. Are you looking for trouble? Is that it? <laughs> what trouble will I be asking for by offering a homeless youth copper roof over his head? Mommy, a handsome homeless youth copper. Look at me, I'm a single woman. And I'm very sure that boy is single. Things could happen. You know, are you not afraid that your daughter might be tempted? No, I am not. I am not because I know I brought up my daughter very well and that she's more interested in making something out of her life rather than falling cheaply for some men. Besides, from my own observations, that young man looks too gentle to take advantage of my kindness. Mm. I knew it. I don't trust you. Mommy, this is your plan. You're looking for a husband for me. That is why you've arranged this. See me see trouble with this girl. What is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. I mean, I don't like this arrangement. You should have discussed it with me first. This is your plan. Will you go and get you something to eat? Stop being silly. Silly, I'm being silly. I'm just saying. I'm going now. So, how do I look? Do you think you'll like me in this? My dear, that skirt is way too short. It looks like it was meant for a two-year-old. Mm, yeah, change it. It's too much of a, you know, carry go. <laughs> That's what it's meant to be, a carry go. Yeah, I like it though. Because you never cease to amaze me. You haven't even set your eyes on this boy. You don't even know if you would like him. Already you want to capture him in your net. Ha! But you said he's handsome. So? And I, I want to take your word for it because... I know you may not be interested in men, but you sure have a good eyes for men. Okay? Except you're trying to grab this one for yourself. Please. Look, I've told you, men are not on my priority list right now. Me, I just want to enter the university. I don't need the wahala. I beg. In came I beg. Eh? Leave the university for now. I want to get married. I don't know about you, but me, I won't marry. The earlier we start this men home thing, the better for us. Before we just find ourselves sitting on the shelves like two old spinsters. It's never too early to start searching for your husband. Okay. And you know our 22nd birthday is just around the corner. Thank God you said 22nd. Anybody listening to you now will think you're turning 62 or something. Ah, ah. My friend, please change that skirt and wear something decent. Let's go before you give my mother a stroke. You must all finish your food though. <laughs> No What was all that about? All your shaky body. I'm a little. Did you have to be that blatant? Man, that guy, you did not make any mistake with the description you gave about him. The 
vodka is delicious. Gosh, my God. I never knew we still had men like that in this world. Even Denzel Washington will struggle beside him. Please, your own life is just full of drama. But the only snag in the drama is all his attention was on you. I tried all the tricks in my YouTube book and it didn't work out. He was just glued on you. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Don't tell me you're naive because you are not. You're just pretending. What? You want to tell me you did not notice all his attention was on you, every single move you made? Mm. Oh, well, it still doesn't change anything. I'm not interested in him. So, my dear, he's all yours. So I think you should try, try, try again until you catch his attention. Oh, would you rather I put in a word or two for you? You did Chris. <laughs> As I was needed your help in getting myself a Come, come, mind yourself. Anyway, I'll see you. Bye. Hello, beautiful. Look, I've told you, stop calling me that. But you're beautiful now, aren't you? <clears throat> Donald, for the hundredth time, I am not interested in what you have in mind. And what in your infinite wisdom do you think I have in mind? A copper's fling. Mm, that's what most of you coppers do, isn't it? Anyway, Sha. I'm not ready to be one of the many feathers on your cap or be added to your long list. So, leave me alone. Long list? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking I don't even have a list. Not to talk of a long one. <sighs> Kimbuchi. You don't even give me a chance to prove myself. And then you are judging me. Not every core member is out to play games, you know. Game or no game, I am not interested, okay? <laughs> Look, don't get me wrong. I like you as a person, but I'm not ready to sleep with you. <laughs> hey, you just so amusing. Hey. Sleep with me. I do not recall ever asking you to sleep with me. <coughs> Whatever gave you such an idea? <clears throat> Just leave me alone, yeah? I think I don't know your type. Oh, your type? Excuse me. You <laughs> <laughs> Ah! This guy has too much answer for every question. Oh, what are you doing now? Nah, Dave Ross. Okay. Ah. Pali, what's up now? Ade, I've not seen you almost like one week. You travel? Travel, okay. You want the principal to have my head for lunch? I've been very busy preparing exam questions for my students, you know. Oh boy, this service now, wow. Eh? Can you imagine me teaching mathematics? Can you imagine? Mathematics for that matter. Ha! Wonder shall never end though. Now, wow. <laughs> hmm. That's what the Nigerian youth service will do to a normal human being. See what we go through. But we have no choice now than to take where they post us as our place of primary assignment. Let's even thank God say where we are there is water and light. What if they are taking us to a place where there is no water or light? Well, you are just correct. You are correct. As a matter of fact, it's not really, really entirely bad. There are some interesting aspects to it. Uh, like when I have to arrange, you know, Haji. Hi. Hi, baby, what's up? I'm good. How Hi. Are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I'll wait for me inside, eh? Alright. I'm coming, yeah? I'll be right with you. Okay. Yeah. Now the interesting aspect of it. Now. Hey! What's <laughs> up, Chidi? Small children. Why are you shout, Chidi? You mean you are dealing with kids? You call this one small children? Bro, that is child abuse now. <laughs> child abuse. You call these old normal children? Eh? You cannot believe what they know. Do you know that most of the time in the class? They sit in some funny, funny position, like they open their legs just for me to see. Oh, Can you imagine? Come on, come on. And do you expect me to refuse such a blatant invitation? Ah! I bet, but I don't know if I would. Chidi, give yourself some respect now. Those are children, man! Ah! Bro, you get yourself into trouble with the authority. What's wrong with you, man? 
Plus, these are kids, whether you like it or not, they are kids. <laughs> kids? Kids who are more intelligent than my grandmother in the village. Oh boy, are you trying to tell me that none of these girls they disturb you? Bro, that's not my star, okay? I don't deal with kids. <laughs> well, my own is just that there's this particular girl I so much like. But man, the girl not just send me, man. Who, who is she? Is she a student in our school? You know what I said? I said I don't deal with children. Of course not. She's finished secondary school. She are waiting to get into the university. If you see her pretty girl, oh, pretty nice, intelligent, everything. That woman now, the lady that helped me out when I was ill, the daughter. Just look at your life. See your mouth. <laughs> you are here blaming me for going for my female students. And you are taking advantage of a kind, innocent woman who gave you accommodation. Come on, Donald. Are you that heartless? Eh? Are you that wicked? Must you shag her daughter? Eh? Must you? I'm not shagging here. Don't let me worry you now. I said I am crazy. I blame myself, stupid me. I'll be discussing something important like this with you. Huh? Yeah, you're a very unserious character now. I'll like wasting my time. I don't talk and finish now. You are really stupid. You don't talk and finish. <laughs> I better go. Cheat, cheat. Leave children alone now. <laughs> I know. Okay. Seriously, ma. I can't cook. Oh. There is nothing in this, my area, that I cannot cook. Honestly, I'm too much. I'm sure I'll beat you in any cooking competition. <laughs> I'm sure you're not serious. Because that's impossible. I tell you, don't try me. I don't try me at all. <laughs> if you want that, uh, okay. Nkem is going to be the judge. It's just that she'll be biased now, no? Okay. Knowing that you're the now. mother and everything. What is Nkem going to be judging? I'll just tell him mom say here. Yeah. I can beat her in any cooking competition. Hmm. <laughs> Look, my friend, my mother here is the best cook in the world, just in case you don't know. Do tell you him. <laughs> Ubo say mama soup not sweet. Mm. I said it now. I said you are going to be my aunt. Wait, are you dreaming? You want to beat my mother in a cooking competition? Oh. Well, I'm sure you can't boil water. Let us not mention ego. Uh, don't mind him. Oh, no, bro. See, champions don't make mouth. Okay? They really talk. So what's going to happen is, someday, one day, I'm going to cook for you people. And you know that I'm the champ. Well, no. not today. <laughs> Let's do it today. For real. <laughs> Don't worry now, someday. Come okay. on, hey, now. Sorry, um, I have this copper's party to attend this evening. I want to ask for your permission to take Nkem with me. I promise we'll be back home early. Really? Hey! No. Hmm? That is nice though. She really goes out. Um, mommy, there's nothing nice about this. I'm not going anywhere. I don't know what he's talking about. Mommy, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, excuse me. I am here. Why are you discussing my matter like I'm not here? I said I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> Kembuchi, why are you always very unfriendly? Why? The young man only asks to take you out. Is there any harm in that? Just go out and have fun. Mom, see, once again, I am very grateful indeed. <laughs> I'll just go have my bath and uh, get ready. Okay, my dear. Uh, okay, please, yeah, would you, like, quickly have your bath, change, wear something nice, and uh, I have to bring you back home early. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Oh. Mommy, what was that about? What? Uh -huh. I know you think you found me a husband. Yeah, you have not found me one. I'm telling you now. Add to your age. What is it? I know since your father died, you feel you are responsible for me. Good. I appreciate that. But you have to learn to go out sometimes and enjoy yourself. I'm not saying you should get into some stupid act, so, you know. Just go out and have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now. Should I have fun? Yeah, sometimes. I should have fun. Eh, not that kind of fun, I though. I should have fun, mommy. Just enjoy your... <laughs> wow. That was a close one. I can't believe I pulled that one. I hope my plans work out as I have planned. I'll do whatever it takes to have that babe. In Kembuji. Just wait, because if it's the last thing I'll do, Make sure you fall 
madly in love with me. Tony said, Olu said, this is a night of fun and I'm going to rock it to its fullest. Oh come on, what's the problem? Are you, are you, are you jealous here? Eh? Don't put asunder what God in his magnanimity has joined together, okay? Hey, come on now. Hey, what the devil has put together, you mean? Come on, come off that. Hey, that's a small girl now. Don't molest a small girl. It's a small girl now. Can't you see other people here? What's your problem, man? Hey, I don't molest girls, boy. I don't. You hurt my pride. Oh, come on, I don't molest girls. I love them and love them and love them. That's why you see them all around me. Chili, you don't have pride. Just leave me alone. And you sound like a broken record, huh? Don't even try because you're not a good liar. <laughs> Music, please. Anyway, I'll forgive you this time for snatching my money away from you. Won't you ask me why? Why what? What did I do? Thank you for forgiving me for asking. I'll still tell you anyway. I won't thank you all for bringing me to this wonderful party. <laughs> I met the man from whose rib I was taken out from. <laughs> what are you talking about? <sighs> Olu is the best thing that has ever happened to me. He's so charming. So handsome. <laughs> I must grab this one. And you know what? He's not leaving this town without a wife. And that wife is just true. Oh, your man is coming to claim his property, I guess. Okay, so let me go take care of my investment. See you later. So, are you ready? Come on, take me home. Are you saying you're not enjoying the party? I'm not saying anything of the sort. I'm just saying I think it's time you take me home. Hey, hey. The night is cool and beautiful. The party's still on. We'll go home, okay? But let's spend more time together. Let's enjoy the beautiful night. Let's count the stars. I don't see any stars. We could make stars together. Or better still, we could actually break magic. Are you all right? Can't you see the chemistry between us is strong? It's amazing. You just don't want to believe it. Are you drunk? My heart thou has captured. My soul is dying to nurture. Oh, so it's gotten to the level where you practice your poetry on me. This is not poetry, baby. This is real. You are poetry for 75. Face it. It's in your eyes, baby. You love me, don't you?
Taking my chance as a woman for love that I have for you I'm painting a paper, a picture of life that I want with you The journey of life uncertain, journey to get to you I built my world around you, my heart will always be with you so dark, but my love will see me through. Stormy weather may prevail, but it can't stop my love for you. I cannot do, do without you. All the pain I feel in my of you At times I feel I should die for love all because of you The wind of change may prevail but it can't stop my love for you A perfect picture of love in my heart it's only me and you I'm serious. I'm totally crazy about him. Thank God for the day he walked into our home. He's such a wonderful person. It's made me so happy. I think we should really watch it here, girl. Before you just spin yourself out of control. You know, most of these men, they really do not seem like they appear. Girlfriend, please, watch it. Let's just take it nice and slow. I know what you mean, dear, but it's just... I can't help it. I can't. I mean, I feel safe just giving him my heart and I don't think he will toy with it. He's not that sort of person. I hope so for your sake. I really hope so. Why are you so cynical anyway? I thought you felt the same way for Uno. <laughs> In case you should know me by now. I don't put my egg inside one basket now. And besides, I'm still watching the guy. What do you mean? Well, I'm not so definite right now, mm -hmm. but <laughs> the way I'm saying it, cash flow is really low from his direction. Ngozi, <laughs> that's not what life is about. It's not all about money. You need to open up a bit. <laughs> then what is it about? No, no, tell me. What is life about? Let's not kid ourselves here. For Christ's sake, we are not babies. We all know that money is a very vital thing when it comes to marriage. No money. No happiness. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to suffer. I really want to be very happy. And I'm going to take my time to get myself hooked to a man that can spend plenty of money to take care of me. I don't want to suffer. <laughs> but I really have not concluded about Olu's case, Sha. I'll keep you informed. You're not a serious person, I'll show you know. Thank you. <laughs> me, I'm very serious. <laughs> It's too big. Uh -uh. Okay, I'll leave you for the professionals, okay? I'm the champ here. Mm. Yeah, I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got to. Let's do this. Wow. 
味が You almost sound as if you didn't want me to come back. Um, Mommy, how can you say that? No, no. <laughs> you look so excited today. Or should I say, you look excited these days. Is there anything you want me to know about? Mommy, please. I'm, I'm, I'm a happy child. You say that yourself. Well, I haven't seen you so happy in a long time. Yes, a certain spark in your eyes. Tell me, does it have to do with our handsome guest? Mm -hmm. Mommy, please. Mommy. Hey, Bozzy. Uh, hey, my dear Mark. Yes. <laughs> it's a good thing you're here because uh, <laughs> Kim and I have um, managed to prepare something special for you mm. for dinner. So, um, ah. Mm -hmm. You can smell it, eh? Mm. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of the champion. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. Why don't you go change while we set the table? <clears throat> Thank you very much. I am famished. Ah, I can't wait to taste this, your legendary food that you have made so much noise about. <laughs> Please, which legendary food? I did all the cooking. You only got to slice onions and he's still struggling with the tomatoes. Pumsi, don't worry now. You know who's lying because you see my magic touch in the food. <laughs> okay. You know what? I, I will find out who's telling lies because I know my daughter's cooking. Abby. Uh, I promise you tonight you will not throw off. <laughs> See you, eh? <laughs> yeah. Delicious and different. Now I know Donald was telling the truth. Mommy, how can you doubt your own daughter? Mommy, I said I cooked this food all by myself. <coughs> Alright, it was sort of a combined effort, but I did most of the cooking. Whatever. It's a wonderful meal anyway. Well, thanks very much, my children. It's so nice to come home to a warm meal sometimes. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome, Mommy. Uh, thank you very much, Mom, for appreciating the food that I cooked. And okay. Thanks for standing by me while I did the cooking. I didn't stand by you, my dear. I cooked this food myself. Well, you were there and contributed once or twice, but it was alright. At least you were able to learn from the best. <laughs> anyway, meanwhile, Mom, see, I'll be moving to a small apartment. I'm probably leaving by the weekend. Ah, so soon? Yes, ma. I've been living with you for four months now. And you've been very nice to me. I appreciate everything you've done. Uh, God bless you, ma. <laughs> Thank you very much, too. You have brought so much sunshine into our lives. And you know what? I think you are the reason for the spark. I see in my daughter's eyes these days. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Mommy, please. Behave yourself. Oh, come on. You think I won't recognize that when I see one? <laughs> anyway, one thing done is I want to beg you, please, don't hurt my daughter. She's everything to me. I promise I won't hurt her. If I do that, I hurt myself. Good. I give you my blessing then. Come on, we're embarrassed. 
People always talk about me like I'm not here. It's not fair. Don't mind her. She's shy because she's only a child. All right, come in. <laughs> here we are. Wow, why did you do all this? Well, <laughs> not bad, not bad. Thank you. What on earth? That's where I want you to be. The very center. I want you to always be in my life. Yeah. I want you to be in the middle. Okay. Kambuchi. I love you. Donald, I don't know what to say. Just say yes. What? I want you to write your name on my future. I don't understand. I want you to sign your name on my soul. Baby, you're the one I want to give all my tomorrows to. I am nothing without you. I guess what I'm saying is, I want you to share the rest of your life with me. Are you, are you proposing? Are you asking me to marry? Is that what this is? Yes. I'm asking you, Nkembuchi, to spend the rest of your life with me. Romantic. I swear I didn't know what to say. <laughs> but hope you, you were able to say yes. Huh? I could only nod. Before you knew it, I started crying. Because I, I've never believed I could love somebody so much. Please, let's leave the fairy tales for now. Were you able to check him out? Find him out? What do you mean? Like HIV? Huh? What now? For what? Tell me now, what's going on? Okay. Kim, how solid is his bank account? Ngozi, the guy is a youth cop. Alright, how solid can his bank account be? His money will come after. After youth cop, not before. And maybe that could take like 10 years sometimes, huh? See, you need to find out who his parents are. You need to find out if he's from a rich home. You need to find out if he has rich brothers abroad. You cannot afford to neglect such information now. Or else you just get yourself involved worse than you were when you were a Spencer. Gozi, your own is too much. Ah, take it easy. Look, I love the guy. That's all that matters right now. That is enough. I'm sure I would eventually meet his family, but come on. One step at a time. And I guess that's your heart speaking now. Or oh, singing. See, I need your head to be in charge of this right now. We have great plans for our future. You cannot just afford to mess it up because you want to get yourself involved with one papa. Ah! If you must know anyway, I'm already backsliding for money. Ah, why? Guess what I discovered? What? Is he married? Married. Mm. Who will marry that one? Uh, so she, she. You know, get. You cannot imagine that his family background is worse than mine. 
and to cry it all up. Guess what he studied in the university? What? <laughs> what? Demography. What is that? It's me. <laughs> and you say, make I carry my body, go marry that camera. Where he wants a job? Who we employ him with demography? Eh? <laughs> you be going break it. So <laughs> anyway, I want give him a gap t-shirt fast, and I'm thinking of going back to Chooks. Which Chooks? The same Chooks you call the trader? Because you, you you're a very confused person. Look, you that you're making mouth. You're dissing people. Small degree, simple university degree you know gets. You are this person will get demographic. That is better than none. Yes. I don't know me at all. Now you know me, I don't talk my own. If you like, no do your findings. Fine Bobo, fine Bobo. Yes, we know he's fine. But now fine we want you. Huh? You need to know whether you pocket fine too. Tonight? Which party? Me you too like party. Oh. I like the party the school is organizing for coppers who are passing up next week. Oh, now one um, bros are not come and bear in fashion. Why? Is it because of that girl? Come on, what is wrong with you? Eh? No one sees you these days. Any slightest opportunity you get, you just rush off to be with her. That's what they love. Bros not nah, love. <laughs> you got that right. I'm so in love with this girl, man. 24-7, I just want to be with her, man. Yeah, it's love. It's love. <laughs> bros, you don't crystal. I know. I don't crystal. I know, bros, I know. <laughs> How old are you that you want to tie yourself down to a woman? I nearly paid for that matter. I want to believe I didn't hear that. How come I said it? See, Donald, forget this, forget this locals. Eh, when it comes to serious business, these girls are bush meats, bush more. How come on? When you want to settle, just, 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 just use them, you know, and fashy. When you want to settle down, go back to Lagos, look for a decent girl from a decent background, and settle down with her, and fashy this bullshit, fashy this rubbish. Chidi. I respect the fact that we're friends, but I will not accept you say any derogatory thing about my girlfriend again. Chidi, I beg. Joke, na joke, joke na me. Please. You will not believe what I will do to you. I'm just respecting our friendship. Huh? You respect that. So tell me, what's up? Something's wrong. Okay, I may mean, not be able to stop, okay, so let's not just go any further. You said we should wait till we're married, remember? I know, but you're passing out tomorrow. And soon you'll be back in Lagos and... I don't know. I'm scared. Scared? About what? You might meet someone else. It's true. Now you're breaking my heart. How can you say that? I'm not meeting anybody. Hmm? Uh. Begin 
into my eyes. What do you see? I see everything. I see my reason for living. Donald, you hold my world in your hands. You know that, don't you? Same here. I see everything. You're my reason for living. And you hold my world in your hands. And I'll love you forever. Is that a promise? Forever? Yeah, promise forever, baby. As soon as I get to Lagos and I settle in, I'll come back for you. All you need to do is make me one promise. You'll pass your jam this time. Yeah? Don't ever leave me. Please. That's a romantic threat. <laughs> I will never ever leave you. Not for all the tea in China. Not for the Gary in this town. <laughs> I'll always love you. I promise I'll come back and we get married. I don't know. I think next week. Because I'm scared, honestly. What if he doesn't come back? Let's just imagine. Then what do I do? Why won't he come back? After all, he promised coming back to marry you. Everybody knows Donald worships the very ground you walk on. So I, I don't know why you'll be killing yourself over it. And moreover, the love both of you share, some people have never experienced it in their lifetime. Huh? I beg, how is your mother, Jerry? Now one. She's there and she's fine. You won't believe that woman has set a wedding date. Huh? Made all the wedding plans. No, honestly, the only thing left now is for her to give us names for our children. <laughs> You don't mean it. I'm mean, telling you. <laughs> this mother's... I don't know, they won't just let us be. Do you know the other day my mother was pestering my whole head about settling down? She doesn't even know I've changed my mind about this whole marriage thing. I can't imagine myself giving myself to just one man when I know I can have all the men at my disposal. Now, Ngozi, let me tell you something. You see, most of those 30-something-year-old single women out there all said the same thing at one point or the other. And when they were ready to settle down, all the good men were gone. Look, there are a lot of male beings there, but very, very few men. So I advise, if you find a good man, grab him and settle down. Really? Mm. Mm. So now, tell me, what's the difference between you and my mother? Huh? And your friend? Well, what's all this preaching for, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm beg, telling I beg, you. I beg, I beg, eh? You know, I'm actually late for my date. I'll see you later. Another date? Mm. Ngozi. Ah. One year has passed and it seems as if it's just a few weeks. Mm. I know, Mom. <sighs> but like they say, everything that has a beginning has an end. <laughs> I've really enjoyed my stay with you, honestly. <laughs> but I have to go back home so I can begin to make plans for my future. Or should I say our future? I understand my son. It's just that you have so become part of us that it will be difficult not to be seeing you in a long time. No, I'll be coming here regularly. Yes, I will. You've also become a part of me. I just can't think of being so far away from a game for so long. I can't. No problem. I believe if one owns a bird, one should free it and allow it to move around. If it's truly yours, it will come back to you and then you have to love it forever. If it's not, then it won't come back. Hmm? That means it was never meant to be. Oh, mom, see, how, how are you talking like this? Are you doubting me? 
I hope not to because I am a man of my own words. I will surely come back. I thank you for the wonderful hospitality you've shown me. It's been, it's been wonderful. <laughs> You're a mother. Your, your heart is gold. Thank you. You've lifted me and I'm so grateful. I also thank want to you. thank you because you have brought so much sunshine into our lives. You have become the son I lost. I only pray that I will have the opportunity of meeting with your parents very soon. He will. We will certainly miss you. I'll miss you too, Mom. <laughs> ah, oopsie. Why do I keep feeling this way? Why can't I just sleep? Hmm? It's not like he's leaving me. He's only going home to visit his parents in Lagos. So, why do I feel empty? God, what's happening to me? I mean, why can't I? In short, I have to put a stop to this. I mean, it's enough, enough nonsense. Go to bed, my friend. I'm not listening to you. I'm serious. I'm really scared. I'm afraid. Do not I just go and, and not come back. I, I don't. Why is it that you young girls always like to grab everything fast, 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 grab, 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 grab? Huh? Patience, my daughter. Patience. That young man is a gentleman. And you know what? Gentlemen keep to their words, except under circumstances that is above their control. Mom, you still don't understand. You don't understand. I mean, you know what they say. Out of sight is out of mind, and this is Lagos. All those very Shh. fast. No negative thoughts. What will be, will be. Oh? You know? Just pray, pray. What if it wasn't meant to be, Mommy? Is that your prayer? No. Yeah. Tell God what you want, and He will do it for you. Oh? Uh, what? Stay with me tonight. I can't. My mother will have my head. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. Love you too. I can't think of life without you. Please now, stay this night. I can't. I wish I could. I can't. I had um, actually wanted to give this to you on your birthday, but, but since I won't be around, um, I better just do it now. And also to let people know that this, this is private property. No trespass. No trespass, I promise. I swear I'm committed to your heart, body and soul.
wish this dream would last forever. Let it just linger for eternity. Namdi, you must have to listen to your father. No, no, I will not! I will not listen to anyone! That is totally out of the question! Namdi, are you disobeying me or what? That this has nothing to do with disobedience! We're not living in the stone age now. How can you force me to marry someone I do not love? That's what you parents do. You might make your children for your own selfish reasons. And, and then it leads to a mismatch. Namde. Mom, for your information, I have someone I am getting married to. And there is nothing you or anybody can do to stop me. I've said my own. I've said my own. Namde. You're also looking out of me. Oh my God. Namde. Hey. I'm Tim. My God! Land it! Margaret! You see you see what your son has done? You see? Margaret! Oh my god! I will make sure I disinherit him now! I will make sure I Dad, please, we'll talk about that when you come home. I need you to get well now. Nande, we we'll have to talk about it now. Let me tell you the truth. I am not sure I'm going to survive this heart attack. <coughs> Dad, you will survive. You will survive it. You will live and you'll be strong. Please, Dad. I made a promise to Chief Udesi. And I cannot go back on it. Our family business is on the brink of collapse. And if we don't do anything about it now, <coughs> what your mother and I suffered for over the years, we go down the drain. This has been our family business since the time of your great grandfather. And I cannot allow it to die now. That, but, Dad. How will my marrying Chief Udense's daughter resuscitate the business? We need this major to stay afloat, my son. So I discussed it with Chief Udense. And we came up with a plan. We came up with a plan of not only managing our companies, but also our families. And uh, I do not want you to let me down on this. Uh, uh, you must promise me that you will marry Rosa Maka. <coughs> I don't have to marry anybody to keep the company business afloat. I studied business at me. With time, turn the business fortune around. You don't understand my soul. Uh, uh, let me tell you the fact now. Uh, our business. Our company is heavily indebted to Chief Udesi. So heavily indebted to Chief Udesi, my son. He has sunk in over 100 million in our company. And he did all that because he was our real blood in his family. And as soon as you marry his daughter, His family attest that royalty. Dad, what if I have my own marital plans? No, never that plans. This is of utmost importance. Dad, that is being selfish. How can you and Chief Utenzi mortgage the lives of your children for your selfish purpose, Dad? I, I mean, it, it's unfair. What, what, what? What, what if only doesn't does my son? This has been decided upon. Over since she knows that Maka we are young. <laughs> we are only waiting for you and knows Maka to get out of school. 
that I, 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 don't, I don't think it, it's, it's going to work. So you must promise me. Promise me, my son, before. Promise me. Dad, I'm not comfortable about this. I, I, I can't, I'm not comfortable. I promise me, please, my sick bed that you will not put me to shame, my son. Dad, I promise. I promise you, Dad. I, I promise. But please, just, just get well and come back home, please. That's better, my son. Yes, some more. Do you have your phone here? Yes, she went out. Do I call her? Chief will go. I will leave. Take heart. Thank you, Chief. My boy. Sir, your father was a great man. And I hope you step into his shoes by taking care of your mother. Thank you, sir. Stay pity, eh? Thank you, sir. Chief, what about you? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, God. It's okay. Margaret, it's okay. It's okay, they can't. Please. Olive. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Done without your support. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And my husband said he will be coming back tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So take it easy. Sister, take care of her. Take good care of her. Thank you. I'm fine. Nandi, what are you still doing in bed? Don't you realize what time it is? I am still in mourning, Mom. I understand how you feel, my son. But life must go on. It's a terrible blow, Mom. It's been two months, and I still can't believe Dad is gone. I feel the same way, too. But well, you must get a grip of yourself. We need to sort out a lot of things. Already I have lost my husband. I'm not sure I want to lose my son too. Don't worry, Mom. I won't die. You won't lose me. I just want to be... I'm just confused in my thoughts. They're all jumbled up now. I can't think straight. Have you tried to call Olive? Her mother was here yesterday and said that you've not reached her. <laughs> so mom, that's what you're really concerned about. The 
forced union between Olive and I. Isn't it? Have you stopped for a moment and thought about how I feel? Have you, mommy? I care so much about you and I know you know that. But this is something we have to do. And the earlier we get it done with, the better for all of us. It's not as if we are sending you to a den of lions. It is imperative that this marriage takes place as soon as possible. Mom, please. Please. My mind right now is occupied with many things and I am so confused. I, I, I don't know what to do. I know how you feel. I know that it is very hard for you. But sweetheart, don't forget to give your father your word. Do you know what we stand to lose if you go back on this promise? We are going to lose this whole house and so much more. Already your father's debtors are already closing in on me. And even the banks are threatening to... I know. I know all that. I can never recite it in my dreams. Mommy, I do not love Olive. I don't love her. How can I marry a girl I don't love? Nandi, love will come. I met your father just twice. The next thing, I was married to him. And guess what? He turned out to be the most wonderful man on this earth. Yes. And left you with a mountain of debt to pay for which I have to mortgage my happiness to pay. Namdi, don't speak ill of the dead. This is something we cannot get out of. Your father and I discussed it at length. Come to think of it, it is not as bad as you're making it look. I mean, Olive is such a beautiful girl that most men would give an arm or a leg to have. So what's your problem? What's my problem? I'll tell you my problem, Mom. I am not most men. I value my arm and I value my leg. And I will not on any account give it to Olive. I will not. My heart, my soul, my body belong to one person. And one person alone, Mom. What do you mean? Mom, I am in love with someone else. I met this young, beautiful, intelligent girl during my youth service. And I promised to marry her. I promised, Mom. But now, now we, the way things are going, I, I, what do I say to her? What, how, how can I now call her? What do I say to her? Shit! I mean, look at me with the How many times have I told you to stop swearing? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. How old is she? What does it matter? Does I it said, matter? how old is this lady whom you've given your heart, body, and soul? She's 22, Mom. Thank God. Thank God she's just a mere child. Her heart may be broken, but with time it will heal, sweetheart. Time heals every wound. This world is tough. A time comes when you don't need to do what you want, but what you must. I'm very sorry, son, but welcome to the real world. I want to get ready for work, and I hope you do the same, too. 
Excuse me. It's still switched off, right? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, how can this phone remain switched off for two whole weeks? It doesn't make sense. And he hasn't even tried to reach me. God, what is this? I'm worried. Do you think there's anything the matter? Do you think it's all right? Calm down, Jesus. You need to give him some time. You know he just lost his father. Oh, please, that's no excuse. That was two months ago. So what do you think is wrong? I don't know. I really don't know. But I have to find out. I mean, I can't just sit here doing nothing. I spoke to Chidi yesterday and all he kept saying is, Donald is fine, Donald is fine. The message I gave to him to give to Donald, still no word from him. Because what do I do? What's this now? Because I don't know what to do, honestly, I don't. Maybe you should go to Lagos and look for him. What do you think? I think you have a point, because I've been thinking about it myself. I mean, at this rate, it's like the only option. And you know the funny thing? The last I spoke to Donald, he was sounding funny. Yes, it was like he was trying to tell me something, but couldn't get himself to do it. And he sounded a bit distant. I have to speak to that man. I mean, I have to speak to him, or else I would just go mad. You're getting really dramatic here. I think the point is, you miss him. My daughter, I understand how you feel. Hmm? So I won't stand on your way. You have to go and find out what the matter is. I just hope everything is well with him. Thank you. Uh, how are you, Rachel? I was just coming to your place. I was also coming to your place. Guess what? My mom says I can go to Lagos. I'll be staying with my aunt, so you know what that means. I don't think there's any need for you to go to Lagos. Why? Was it not because of Donald you intended on going to Lagos? Uh-huh. Hey, 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 hey. Take, if this is a sick joke, take it. I wish it was a joke. I just wish to God that it was a joke. This is real. It's not possible. Uh, this cannot be done. Uh, maybe somebody that looks like him. His name is not okay. His name is there, but uh, who knows? Maybe he's twin or somebody. It can be anybody now. What I told twin bearing the same name, bearing the same first name, twin. <laughs> this is Donald. I just, I just wish to God that it was a dream. I would have been happy to wake you out of it. You know, told me he loved me. He told me he loved me. He gave me this ring, didn't he? You can cry if you want. You know, when you get hurt, as time passes, you get healed. I do not want you to, to keep this for too long, please. Is that possible? After all we shared? Do not come do this to me after everything we went through. I do not mean to, to belittle your friendship. But even marriages that last as long as 25 years, they still wake up one morning and just decide to file for divorce. Let's talk about yours that is even a courtship for 8 to 10 months. Come on, please. It was the best eight to ten months of my life. Oh, my God. Dead. Finished. I'm finished. I know, I know. But I do not mean to be harsh or sound harsh. I'm not going to allow you wallow in this for long. No, I won't. I warned you, I warned you that men do not seem as they appear. But you will not listen. Don't out this, don't out that, don't out this. Now, now look at you. Mind you, I want us to just pick the shit together and then you get on with your life, okay? Jam result is out. I want us to go and buy it. 
Let's go into the house so that I can get something. You're taking advantage of the fact that I work for your mother to get to see me. And that is not just stupid, it's childish. And I expected more from you. Look, if you don't want me to continue to work for her, why don't you just say so? I would gladly resign. 